Hello to my Cancer friends out there. This is your low-key magical tarot read for mid-May. <clears throat> and yes, I know who some of my Cancers are that are watching. So, of course, I have you in mind specifically. This is a general read, so it won't resonate for everybody. Take what feels good, leave what doesn't. And if you would like to contact me for a personal read, they are so much fun. Please contact me on Facebook, Low Key Magical. And that's where I live most of the time. We are cutting the cards today and taking the center pile. Cancer, how are you? Let's start with this one. Two of Wands. The wands represent our work in the world and you are coming up with some choices choices are good choices are what we want we want the freedom to be able to do what we want to do in the world and oh my goodness what's coming up next to that is judgment there is a horn being blown you may be the one that's doing the judgment at this point in time you may be the one who's looking at your possibilities and saying what do i really want what is going to benefit me the most and when i look at judgment it's a very balanced card this is interesting we have a two of wands very balanced i could go either way and then we have the judgment with a 20. it's a very balanced image of course when you're looking at things you want to judge them based on exactly the information that you have in front of you. You want to have a very balanced and clear view. And you're the kind of person that can make those kind of decisions to make those kind of sound judgments because you're also coming up as the King of Cups. Well, what's the King of Cups about? The King of Cups is someone who has learned how to handle their emotions. Now, you may not feel like you are quite there yet but there's something about this choice and the way that you're choosing to see your choices that are helping you to become more even keeled more relaxed about those choices you make and that's probably the most information that i'm getting right now is that when you do become this king of cups when you do say i am confident in knowing that my feelings are valid, I don't let them overtake me, I can look at my choices with very sound and even judgment. And the most important thing to remember is that when you are using sound judgment and when you are coming at every choice, relaxed, even, open-minded, unguarded to a certain degree you can know that your choices will be the right choices and this is what's fantastic is the next card that comes up is this ace of cups this ace of cups is something brand new for you this ace of cups may be feelings that you haven't got to experience before but you always wanted to they're cups or their emotions it could be confidence it could be peace these are the things that you want. These are the choices that you have in front of you. And what could possibly derail this for you? Because I don't see anything really that could derail this for you, but I'm gonna ask the cards. And what they tell me is Knight of Swords. The only thing that could derail, goodness sakes, this perfect, this set of choices that you have that are great. The discerning judgment that you have the emotional stability that you have leading to new feelings, new experiences. What could throw this off for you? If anything, King of Cups. And I like to call the King of Cups my, oh, I'm sorry, this is King of Swords, Knight of Swords. Wow, I'm all over the place. King of Cups is where you are stable. Ace of Cups is your new beginning. Knight of Swords is what could throw this off for us. And the Knight of Swords is my, how do I say it? It's running in before really putting good thought into things. It's letting your thoughts get out ahead of you before you really know what sound step to take next. I call it a Leroy Jenkins card because you are busting in with great ideas, 
without really thinking it through. King of Cups is your main energy here. Be stable, be emotionally stable, and watch this Ace of Cups. Don't get too excited and get out ahead of yourself with the Knight of Swords. I swear, I've had a Cancer reading recently and it was so very similar to this. This is the Cancer energy right now. You've got choices. Keep your emotions in check. Know what's best for you when it shows up. And don't get too excited and too out ahead of yourself and let your thoughts derail you before you even get started. This is the no. Don't let your thoughts derail you. This is the yes. King of Cups. Ace of Cups. Sound judgment. There we go, Cancer. I feel like it's a repeat of before, but that just means your energy is very strong. Reach out to me if you'd like a private reading. Thank you so much. Low-key magical. Have a great day.